they'll say, yonder comes my bow, down Joe, come and get me, down Joe, come and get me, down Joe, come and get me, down Joe. Ain't gonna work in the country, neither on Forrester's farm, I'm gonna stay till my Maybell comes, and she's gonna call on me, Tom, down and Joe, come and get me. Joe, come and get me, Diamond Joe, come and get me, Diamond Joe. Ain't gonna tell you no story, neither would I lie. When I let my Maybell stay, didn't she keep on by? Diamond Joe, come and get me, Diamond Joe, come and get me, Diamond Joe, come and get me. Howdy folks and a great big welcome to each and every one of you. Well that first song that I just sang is called Diamond Joe and Diamond Joe is the name of a Mississippi steamboat. In 1937 John Lomax traveled down south to do field recordings of a whole bunch of people and one of the folks he recorded was named a Charlie Butler. And Charlie was an inmate on a work farm called Parchman Farm, and he sang that song unaccompanied. And uh, the second tune that I played is called, uh, actually has a few different names, Kingdom Coming, or The Year of Jubilo, or uh, Lincoln's Gunboats. And it was written in uh, 1872, I believe, by Henry Clay Work, who was an uh, abolitionist, and he promoted uh, freeing the slaves. I first uh, heard that tune played by the Red Clay Ramblers on this lovely long play record called uh, Stolen in Love. These, this is the original Red Clay Ramblers. And they made this record in 1975. At any rate, that's the tunes. What I'd like to do now is a little Bible reading. So for those of you folks who are not interested in a Bible reading, now's the time for you to end the video. I'll say adios. See you next time. For those of you who are hanging on, the song and tune that I just played was about uh, slavery here on earth 
and uh, people wanting to be free, but the Bible talks about a different kind of freedom, and it's a spiritual freedom, and Paul did a great job of this in his letter to the Galatians. Uh, Galatians chapter 5. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Mark my words, I, Paul, tell you that if you let yourself be circumcised, Christ will be of no value to you at all. Again, I declare to every man who lets himself be circumcised, that he is obligated to obey the whole law. You who are trying to be justified by law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. But by faith we eagerly await through the Spirit the righteousness for which we hope. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. What had happened was uh, on Paul's first trip over to Asia Minor, he had set up uh, churches in Galatia. And uh, after he left, there was a bunch of... Uh, Jewish guys that came in and uh, told the new followers of Jesus that before they could be Christians that they would have to obey the old uh, Mosaic law that came from uh, Moses. In other words, they had to obey all of the laws first and then they could become Christians and that was pure heresy. And Paul writes and tells them that, no, all you need to do is put your faith in Jesus and that's all that you need to do and become his followers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the song and the tune about freedom and I hope you enjoyed the reading about uh, spiritual freedom. freedom. <laughs> I'll say God bless and we'll see you down the road. <laughs>